I mentioned back during my Spence vs. Porter film study that Sean Porter would build a rhythm bouncing back and forth to bait Spence into trying to jab him on his bounce in. Porter would anticipate the jab and counter with a combination while blitzing in. As you can see, Porter builds a rhythm, Spence tries to time him with a jab, and Porter counters that jab because he anticipates it with that combination. You see again Porter is building up a rhythm, and Spence times that rhythm with a jab, Porter sees right through it and tries to counter with a combination. And then we're going to see it one more time, Porter is standing in front of Spence, Spence tries to time Porter's rhythm, and Porter is able to counter him with a straight right hand. You can see that you can create counterpunching opportunities if you understand when you're most vulnerable. Since Porter knows he's open to the jab while he's bouncing, he can anticipate the punch and counter. This surprised many people watching the fight as well as Spence himself. Now we see pretty much the same thing against Terence Crawford, well he'll build a rhythm to bait out the jab and when the jab comes he tries to counter it. As you can see Sean Porter, even though he's not bouncing, you see he moves his head in and out, you see he moves his head in and out, he's building a rhythm here to bait the jab. And as you see when he comes in right there, you see he baits out the jab and he blitzes in with a counter combination. However Terence Crawford is ready for this as Errol Spence was. Crawford knows Porter builds a rhythm to try to get his opponent to get a feel of his rhythm and time him with a jab. Porter does this to many of his opponents in order to get in and get his offense going. He even had some success with it against Errol Spence. However, Crawford came prepared for this. Crawford switches to southpaw to make it an open stance match where the left hand will be more open against the orthodox Porter and is going to try to get that same reaction from Porter trying to make him counter the jab. So you see he shoots the jab, Porter tries to blitz in with a counter and Crawford lands the left uppercut as he steps back countering Porter's counter. So we're going to see one more time, you see Porter's building up a rhythm and Crawford's going to try to get that reaction. So as you see, you see Crawford throws a jab and he already has the left uppercut counter ready. But he's going to really try it. As you see, he's going to shoot the jab there. Porter bites on it. And then you see Crawford steps back away from the counter blitz from Porter and lands that up beautiful uppercut. It's possible Crawford's team studied Porter's fight with Spence and noticed Porter had success baiting out the jab and countering it. Since Crawford was ready for this habit from Porter, Crawford must have drilled jabbing, stepping away from the counter, and countering with a left uppercut countless times in preparation for this fight. As Freddie Roach used to say, he would look for habits, not mistakes, when coming up with a game plan. And Crawford's team made an excellent game plan against the known habit of Porter. And before I end the video, I just want to say, because I know I'm going to get comments about this, I'm not saying that Crawford would beat Spence or Crawford beat Porter better than Spence. I'm not comparing the two or uh, the three of them at all. All I'm saying is that since Spence fought Porter first, Crawford's team is able to look at that footage and come up with a game plan for it. That's all I'm saying. And that's going to do it for this short video. As always, thank you all for watching. Sorry I haven't been making a whole lot of videos lately. I'm currently out on holiday vacation. I don't have my mic with me, which is why the audio sounds like doo-doo in this video. Just wanted to get a video out there. And once the holidays are over, I'll be back to making more videos. As always, thank you to my GOAT tier patrons, Jason Mahinen, Grant Gabriel, Dmitry Drozdov, Albert Chen and Jeff. You guys keep the channel going and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Have a happy holidays.